The case against Harvey Weinstein, we've got an update for you. NBC's Stephanie Gosk is at the courthouse in New York City. Uh, Stephanie, what have you learned? Well, this was a critical hearing for Harvey Weinstein this morning. Um, up for, for debate and discussion was the judge's decision on whether or not to throw out the remaining charges against him. The judge has ruled he's denied the defense's motion, motion to throw out these charges. He set another hearing date. Effectively, Hallie, if he had thrown them out, this case would have been over. And as you know, there are as many as 100 women who have come out and alleged sexual misconduct by Harvey Weinstein. This case, however, is about two women, uh, one who alleged that she was raped, the other one who alleges she was forced to commit a sexual act. The defense had said that the prosecution was withholding exculpatory evidence in the case, and it was their argument that they had evidence that would prove their client was innocent. The judge, obviously, this morning disagreeing. This case is going to trial. Hallie? Wow, this is uh, amazing. Maya, I want to bring you in. Earlier this week, I spoke to a, a lot of people who've been extensively reporting on Harvey Weinstein, uh, people in that orbit of accusers who started to think this thing was over and it was going to get dismissed on technicalities. How big of a deal is it that it's going to stand? It's a very big deal. Uh, it doesn't tell us what's going to happen, whether they're going to be convictions. There's still a long road to go. But it's significant that the judge said, remember, we had one count that was thrown out. Mm -hmm. And it was thrown out in part because a, a New York City police detective was coaching a witness. It's always a concern if law enforcement is not providing all of the evidence, including exculpatory evidence. That's how our system works. But the fact that the judge is differentiating, right, not saying just because we had this, e this issue around whether or not there were emails that were shared or not, it does not negate that there is evidence sufficient to go to trial on these counts, and that's a big deal. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.